We are getting the facts in the 2024 race for president in WMUR's partnership with PolitiFact. Both Vice President Harris and former President Trump are pushing the economic agenda. Trump is running on tariffs for goods shipped to the U.S. In a recent interview, Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance said, quote, Anything that you lose on the tariff from the perspective of the consumer, you gain in higher wages, so ultimately you're better off. Joining us live now is Lou Jacobson with PolitiFact. And Lou, what did you find out about this statement? Yeah, so the idea behind imposing tariffs is to make American companies more competitive with their foreign counterparts by basically increasing imp uh, the price of imported goods and therefore making domestic goods look you know, more attractive to consumers. Most economists disagree that this works uh, by a margin of about 95% to 5% of economists, uh, surveys show. Um, economists say that the, that the real world examples of tariffs working as intended are rare, uh, and most studies of past tariff impacts on consumers, jobs, and wages show the drawbacks uh, outweigh the benefits of tariffs. Um, consumers have to pay more for the imported goods directly. They can also expect that domestic producers will keep prices high uh, when, the, uh, when they have tariffs in place. Tariffs also mean that U.S. companies have to pay more for the imported materials that they use uh, to, to make their products. Uh, and these uh, costs will be passed along to uh, consumers for, for, the, uh, for, for the most part. Um, and finally, U.S. producers can expect to be hit by new tariffs from our trading partners uh, as a way of retaliating. Uh, and this also raises the prices for U.S. consumers. All right, so on the Democratic side, Vice President Harris says she is putting her economic focus on fighting corporate greed. Democratic Senator Bob Casey, who spoke at the Democratic National Convention, said this, quote, prices are up because these corporations are scheming to drive them up. So what did PolitiFact, Lou, find out about this statement? Yeah, so this, this is definitely an overstatement. Um, the year-over-year -year inflation rate uh, has fallen from a peak of around 9% in the summer of 2022 to just under 3% today. Corporate greed may have contributed uh, to that 40-year uh, high inflation, uh, and there are some examples of bad behavior by co companies, corporate executives in the food sector particularly, but it doesn't explain all the inflation that, that the U.S. has faced. Uh, uh, the Casey campaign pointed us to data showing the corporate profits have risen faster under President Biden than the rate of inflation. But economists have told us that rising production costs, including rising wages, raw input uh, costs, and real estate prices are the primary drivers of the price uh, spikes. Uh, pr prices rose during COVID because of supply chain disruptions and later because of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Um, and most of the economists that we consulted with were skeptical that corporate scheming, as uh, Casey put it, or arbitrary price increases were the main driver of inflation. Um, there, there have been some successful price fixing lawsuits at the federal and state level, um, but those uh, you know, are basically isolated cases and they don't really explain the widespread inflation that we saw back in 2022. All right. So we gave that completely false. All right, Lou Jacobson with PolitiFact, always good to talk with you. Thank you for breaking it all down for us. Great, thank you.